very, very common snake. Harmless. This snake's scary. <laughs> We got a narcotics officer in a pursuit. Guy's refusing to stop in a vehicle. He just crashed the vehicle. Now they're running eastbound towards Sharon at the park. He's going back towards the park. He's going back towards the park. Black male, light blue shirt. Oh, yes, black male, light blue shirt, going towards the park. Thirty-one, you're also on it. What are you doing, man? He didn't stop. You're under arrest for okay. fleeing law enforcement. Yeah, okay, man, I was doing the work, man. Why'd you flee from the police? I did not see him text me, man. Yeah, right. He's in a marked vehicle, red lights and sirens. Red lights and sirens, that ain't flying. Marked man, vehicle. I did not see him, man. I red swear lights. I did not. I heard him and I was 10 blocks away. Better tell your public defender that. Marshal. Right. Does that look like him? Your charges have been updated to possession of crack cocaine. Man, I ain't got no. Oh, no, no. Oh, man, I hate this fool. To get another line of work. Don't even look like him, but that's ID at on. Man, I got work ID mail me, man. Control, you can slow anybody else down. Right. Yeah, I'm fine, still tired. We're winded, huh? How much did he have? Fat and out of shape. Cha-ching. Huh? You know what? This is the city <laughs> park. Yeah. And that's an A felony. Man, I, I, I I swear. Oh, don't even try. I had it, man. Why are you running? I didn't years. run for you, man. I got to look, look. 20, I got to work 20, on the D, man. 20, you didn't listen. run for me. 20, no, I did 20, not run for you, man. You just 20, crashed your car and took off running. Man, I did years. not run for you, man. 20 to 50 years. So why are you I running? I know, man. I didn't have that, though. So why are you running man, for me? Man, I did not have it, man, because I'm on home detention, man. And I was just for, going to work. What are you on home detention for? Huh? Trying to hang up. I like that. You have the right to remain silent. Thank you. Say it can use the evidence against you in the court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer asking for advice for asking any questions. You have the right to talk to him at any time. If you cannot afford a lawyer, one will be appointed to you by the court before any question. If you decide not to answer any questions this time without a lawyer present, you still have the right to talk. It's stop answering at any time. You also have the right to stop answering at any time if you cannot afford a lawyer. Do you understand your rights? Yes, sir. You've been through it before then, huh? So anyhow, he takes off. He ain't gonna stop. He runs the, he runs the stop sign on, on 12th and Medford. Goes southbound in the alley and almost hits a pole, almost takes out a pole because he can't get turned. And he comes down here. I said, there's no way he's going to make this turn over here. And he did. And he did. And he smacked that pole. And I pulled up like this and foot chase is on. Man, I ain't got no reason to lie, man. I ain't no cocaine on me, man. Well, it's between you and the detective, so it's up to the judge. We know what the detective saw. We know you fled from the police like a bat out of hell for a reason. And it ain't just because of the probation. Home detention and probation. Home detention, they usually allow you go to work. If you're on your way to work, you wouldn't have violated. I was on my way to work, but I was going to get my little girl before 6 o'clock, man. If you're on home detention, they usually allow you to and from work only. If you're on your way to work, you had no reason to run. My public, my, oh, oh, my home. Oh, I take it back. You did have a reason to run. It was laying on the side of the house. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't, man. I ain't had it, man. My home detention officer told me, it's OK if I go pick up my daughters, drop them off with their mama, and then go to work. And that's what I was going to do when he stopped me. Why'd you run? Why'd you run? Because I was scared because I was on home detention. But you just said that you, the home detention officer man. said you can go to and from work. I know. And that's where you were going, so you had no reason to be scared. I was because I was scared, man, because I ain't had no driver's license. She wants to speak to you, Arturo. I ain't had no way to go to the girls. They don't believe me talking about I had dope on me. I got the only baby he got. You know, with him being gone, you know, it's gonna be hard for me. Man, I'm cracking a lot, man. It's I told you, my luck ain't <laughs> But you know what I mean? Like I said, I feared, and I was knew I was going to jail back there, so you know what I mean? I fled and I ran. 
So you gave a shot at getting away, right? Hey, well, everybody gonna get some shots, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I got caught, so I gotta face the consequences, but I know I ain't had that dope. He ran between the houses right here, and what, between those two houses right there? Well, the gate was closed. He stopped. This is how far back I was, because I locked myself in my car. He took the time to stop and open up the gate and run through. <laughs> well, he didn't look like a hurdle. No. And then when we got around here, he took his right hand, went like this with the dope. And I said, and then he stopped right here. So then we got him cuffed. That's why when you come up and Marshall come up, he wasn't cuffed yet. I let you two handle it, because I was going to go back right, go right back over where he dropped the dope at. I think we already found his goodies, but if you check his shoes. I sure will. Seems uh, got somebody driving into the living room and apartment complex. Driver has fled the scene. They uh, called in, said no one's hurt, but uh, the living room's kind of messed up. 8-8. 29 control. 229 County can advise. Uh, he's been on radio contact with him. He won't answer him. Well, this doesn't look good. 10 4 10-4. Everybody all right? How'd this happen? Over here? Yeah. Did anyone see who was driving? I don't know who was driving. They would know who was driving. OK. Are you all right? Is this your car? Yeah. What happened? Well, I got a part in the car. But then my baby was crying in the back seat, so I turned around to see what he was doing, and I heard the gas accidentally. I didn't. I thought I parked the car. Okay. You have your license and registration. Are you sure you're all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just, I thought I hit somebody in there in the house. I thought I killed somebody. You still live in Kentucky, or do you have a local address? No, I live here. I'm, I'm a student up here, so. Okay, and this is your yeah, house? Yeah, this is my house. How many people were in the car with you? It was me and him and our son. And you're all right? Everybody's all right? <laughs> 241 control. 241. I'm going to need a wrecker. Advise him it's a sport utility vehicle. It's completely inside the uh, apartment. Yes, and it's not a hit and run. Is the owner of the apartment here? This is your apartment? Yeah. Apparently, um, nobody was hurt? I just got home. She was in there. Okay. Be careful. 438 North Village, 438 North Village, check one for a Employee Tamara Kimbrough. Husband came to her job earlier. Full units at 1809. Have you step out here? Be careful. Don't step on any. 27 out of Indiana. A negative would be through Kentucky. So, what did you have here in front of the window? Um, a chair. chair over there. The stuff is over there. Okay, so you have, is your TV broken? Have you have, looked, have you had a look at it? Uh -uh. Chair, TV, anything that was sitting on? A table. Well, it's all up there in the front, I can't. Stereo. Stereo. Okay. Well, we're gonna have a uh, wrecker yank it out of here. And uh, I don't know how maintenance is gonna help you out. They'll probably have to put you in another apartment for a little bit, okay? She couldn't stop? No, she was she was parking her car right there when her baby was making a fuss. She looked back in the back seat to see if the baby was okay, and instead of hitting the brake, hit the gas, jumps the curb, goes into the apartment, knocks down everything, pushes all their furniture way back into the kitchen area. I don't think I've ever... Uh, had a vehicle that far in a building before. Definitely one for the books. 
It's going to be interesting to get this out. So the maintenance man will be about to fix this one yeah. too, right? Oh yeah, the maintenance man's doing a lot of work today over here in this complex. He's had to replace a door on a burglary. Now they're going to have to replace a, uh, a wall and a window. I don't think there's much damage to it. Oh, we got some scratches here. A little bump here. Mostly cosmetic damage. Did she say she wanted to have it towed or just yanked out of here? She didn't say. Oh, here she is right here. What do you think? This car drivable? Well, I'd probably say it's drivable. I mean, I don't think it's hurt anything as far as underneath the Definitely going to have to be called on the insurance company because you got a lot of scratches and stuff on here, a lot of damage. From it. I don't know. I would say your best bet would be probably to go ahead and have it towed in. How about as far as driving? Is it drivable? Because I probably need the car for it. It's drivable. I mean, I wouldn't say it hurt anything underneath. It just got a lot of scratches, a lot of glass and stuff on it. Uh, if you don't want to have it towed, um, your obligation to the record driver is for whatever he charges you to have it yanked out there. So um, you can, unfortunately, you have to pay him now. Yeah, oh, I if, if you don't have the money now, then I would have to take the vehicle with me. Okay, I'll just pay. How much the car? It'd be $50. How much going to be? It has to be cash, can't be checked, or visa, or anything. It has to be cash. Okay, you're going to have to run to a bank and come back. Yeah. Uh, do you have a ride to go to a bank machine? Yeah, he yeah. got a car. If you want to go ahead and do that real yeah. quick, I'll, I'll hang out okay. here. Okay, Aubrey, can you do that? Yeah. I think I got your car keys in here. I think the only thing that's really damaged is that uh, table and the lamps. <laughs> and uh, you got some, like, picture frames and yeah. the clock and some personal little things that are probably going to have to be replaced. They're broken. Big stuff's OK. Going to a uh, man with a gun. Um, supposedly in a gray eye rock, and we're coming up on the scene. Because we can't go there, he's about to get off of work. My brother's about to get off of work. We'll see your hands. Everybody step by, keep my hands when we see him. Checklist. Troy, let me see your hands still, partner. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Go ahead and spread your legs for me. Go ahead and take a step. Where's the small page at? Can you put your hands behind your back for me? Uh, where's the other page at? My page is in that seat right there. Put your hands on the curb. Why don't you have a seat right here? I don't know, I didn't wrong. Cross your legs for me. Okay. You already, Sky, you already checked them? Uh, yeah. Okay. Right now I've got in plain view a uh, weight scale, which is common with uh, narcotic cells. They weigh the, uh, the narcotics before cell. And in plain view, there's a white baggy, clear plastic baggy that uh, you can see a green leafy substance I suspect to be marijuana at this time. I can see several pagers, You've got sailor phone, scissors, a couple lighters, and there's some other paraphernalia items that's common around narcotics that I found in the car. Either way, let me understand this. He pulled a gun on he you He pulled week. a gun out on me. 
Last, today. Today. <gasps> today. So about tonight. And him he, and three of his buddies. And then he and called her. you and said, come over here and pick up your pager? No, told me to bring, she told me to bring his pager to him. Her, asked her right there. She told me to bring his to pager To bring the to pager him. over to the guy to pull the gun yeah, out. Yeah, it, because it's her house. So I'm I thinking brought, if a guy pulled a gun out on me earlier, I wasn't a police I know, he I was, was he was like himself in the house. I'd probably she, stay away from him. Because I bring this, I was going to bring his pager back. That's the pager they're looking for right now. Weren't you worried that he might have the gun pulled on you again? No, because I have buddies with me right now. Oh, okay. I'm not going to lie. I have buddies with me. Did you guys have a gun with you earlier? I no. no. Guns don't come near me. I can't allow it. No I'm, I'm not taking a chance of going. I, I'm facing, if I get in trouble, I'm facing a long time in jail. And I can't. That's why, why I don't are you facing a long time in jail? Because if I got my probation or anything, I'm not... What are you on probation for? Uh, receiving stolen property, and I got arrested last week for uh, reckless driving on New York Street. That's why I'm not messing... I mean, that, that's, I'll start community service tomorrow at noon. And that's the only reason I'm even here. Go rest up doing the red hat with the gun. That's what I do to you. He probably hid the gun. You're talking about we had the gun. He whipped it out on me. I didn't have nothing to do with it. <laughs> because okay. me and him got in a fight. Can you understand, though, if we get a run, man with a gun, and it's yeah, I understand. a gray? Well, can, I, can I explain this? I understand that whole situation. Uh -huh. But you pulled me over. I mean, I mean, you come up. You got us all out of the car. The person's and we ain't no was, gun around. Guys, there, ain't no gun, there ain't no gun in the car. I didn't have no gun. I'm not going to with a gun. The person who owned the weed claimed the weed. How can I? OK, did I ask you if I could uh, look in the car? Yes, and I said yes, because I knew nothing about it. OK. So when I look in there and I see it just in plain view, OK? Just in plain view. Yeah. Anybody can see it from just looking in the, from the uh, driver's side door, OK? I have no light inside. I couldn't see it even if okay. I opened the door. OK, but I'm saying, I mean, it was in plain view. And I look, and there's there's a scale laying there right on the ground. Let me explain just, something. Just if a I knew scale. it was there, why would I get, I mean, if I even knew the scale was in the back seat, why, and I know, I know people are going to get arrested for it, why would I give you permission, Adam, knowing I'm on probation? I don't know. That'd be a, that'd be a good, uh, Good question. Well, look. I you, see. That's what I'm saying. I don't have nothing to do with this. Well, he even claimed this week. I'll be happy. I don't care. Go get it. Okay. Well, right now, when you guys go down there, okay, I'm not asking you any questions. I don't want any comments from you, okay? So, when am I getting arrested for? Well, right now, you're getting arrested for possession of marijuana it and for public intoxication. Right here, what right? am I getting arrested for? Can you answer that? It ain't none of those. Possession of marijuana. Did you just hear that? It ain't none of those. Well, right now you're you're gonna have to tell that, okay? When you go into court, because I don't know, I don't know who it is. I know you was in the back hey, seat boy, where it was at. You get out at your ass. Hey, I'll catch you. I'll find you. Hey, I advise you this though. I wouldn't go around saying that unless you want to go uh, for intimidation also. Hey, John. Yeah. Your girlfriend wants her uh, earring back. You want to give it to her? Yeah, don't I'm going to take these things out. They come out. It falls apart. Yeah. Okay. Does that mean you guys are breaking up now or something? We're assisting a um, homicide detective on uh, picking up a uh, wanted subject. For, he's wanted for two counts of homicide. The detective's following him right now. He's uh, southbound. Should be just a little bit ahead of us. 1545, you want a felony stop or just routine? Felony stop and be advised this guy killed two people. One We're going to make a felony traffic stop on this guy. Apparently, he's wanted for two homicides. The detective's following the vehicle. Uh, I'm trying to catch up with right him. In front of me. Um, he's getting ready to turn uh, westbound on Troy. He's getting ready to turn right around this corner. Here we go. It's going to be this little red car right here that. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 I see your hands. Put your hands up. Both of you, put your hands up. Keep them up where I can see them. Driver, turn the car off. Turn the car off! Got him? I got him. Keep your hands up. He's belted in. Keep your hand up. Keep it up. Okay. Levante say for sus manos and to the down. Get down on the ground! Okay.
Got him secured. Got him. Step out of the vehicle. On the ground. Down the ground, down the ground, on the ground, on the ground. Go on control, put me out on trail. 4245, control of subjects is secure. 10 4 10, top car is 40, 42, 45, and subjects are secure. 201, you're out of 1442. Okay, sure. Second call on the accident, going to be API EMS. Universal is Huh? Uh, no, you're here right now. Go ahead and, uh, pick me in that's coming. Have a check out. Come on, Sayama. Huh? Come on, Sayama. Rafael. Don't be there, Rafael. You know, it's about very often. What is your ¿Ah? Uh, ¿Habla inglés? A little bit. Ok. ¿Español? Ya. Yeah. Oh, ¿Tiene identificación en ese estado? Ya. Yeah. ¿Dónde está? En mi paquete. ¿Habla inglés o español? Yeah. Español. ¿Español? ¿Habla inglés un poquito? A little bit. Ok. No, I'm ok right now. Go ahead and keep the MS coming. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? Sí, señor. Este hombre ha matado a un par de personas en Boston. Sí. Ellos han tenido un warrant por un tiempo. I've been looking for him for about two weeks now. So I'm pretty sure that's him. We need permission to go in the trunk? Uh, no. Uh, it's going to be towed, so we need to check it. So, go ahead. Yeah, if you don't mind, please. Speak English? Yeah, I'll Okay, go ahead and sit up. Okay, we're going to stand up on three. One, two, three. Go ahead and take a seat right here. See it today. Have you ever been in Boston? Oh, no. Never? No. You looked away from me when you said that. Huh? You looked away when you said that. What do you mean? If you, I, it's simple. Did you, have you ever been in Boston? Oh, no. No? No. That's my first, that's my first day right here. Okay. Well, you look like somebody I'm looking for from Boston. In fact, I'm pretty sure you're the person. So that's why you're here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because I go away and all because I, you know, I, I make something wrong right here, right now. But I don't think so. I make something well, wrong. Well, regardless, you don't have a driver's license. Okay. You're not supposed to be driving. Okay. okay so but I got a driver's license. No, you, you don't. Saying? No, this is not. This is fake. What do you mean fake? This is not real. Why are you not real? This is not you, and it's not real. Who's not me? This is not you. That's me. Okay. Well, you know, because... well, I'll show you on the computer how it's not okay. you, okay? We're going to go down and take you, take your fingerprints, okay? Stand up and get my car. Let's go, Greg. Oh, it's 102 South. Charles 232, Charles 226. 232, 226. So, for personal assault, this guy. Let's see what this guy is. I don't know who he is. I said, don't worry, you know. Oh, okay. Two thirty-two into twenty-six. Confidential informant called us a couple uh, weeks ago and gave me some information that he thought that uh, this person was a murderer out of Boston that uh, was living in an address on the city's south side. So uh, we have been following him for a while. We're on our way to a uh, disturbance outside of a uh, local restaurant up here on the main drag. I also have the manager from the. We got a uh, the manager of the restaurant standing between the two men. 226 control, I'm 1023. 1573. Let's see here. Where are we at? Okay. There's one half behind us, and this might be the other half here. What's going on? Yeah. They bought a car. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Because it, no, what she okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. One, one, one person hold at a time. On, I called. Okay. My name's Jim. Okay. Okay. I sold her a car. Okay. Well, originally, he gave me $100 down for this car. I was supposed to meet them up here and okay. sell them the car. Well, I just sold her the car, gave her the title, signed it over. He gave me $600. She got in and said, there's no reverse. He knew it had no reverse. Okay. He, he knew. knew. He knew. Now, who bought the car? She did. Well, she don't. Her. She bought it. I gave her the title right there. The management. Okay. 
the car's fine. Don't have no reverse, but he knew that. That's his girlfriend. Which car is it? The Camar the Monte Carlo right there, the green one. So that thing can't go in reverse? No, but it drives. Okay. Whose plates are these? Are these your this plates? Is mine, yeah. Okay. In that name. And the registration's in there too. Okay. And insurance. So now they now they want their money back. Yeah. Okay. Well, again, if you sold them the car. There's not much really we can do. That's all I wanted to leave, and they're giving me hassle. He's, in, he's intimidating me. Okay, don't point. No finger okay, point. Okay, he's threatening me, Okay. And, and I didn't like it. Okay. And I want to leave. Okay. And I sold him the car. Okay. Good and fair, and now they're trying to... Stand over there with that other officer. Here, hold on to the plate. Just, he's going to stand there with you for a second. Okay, Deb. No, that is, he told me it was stolen. He told me it was stolen, but he told me he had a title to it. And I get in the car to reverse, and he goes, it don't have reverse. Basically, what we've got is a civil matter. They bought the car from the guy. Door looks like it's been pulled back. It's got a hole in the trunk. It's got all the makings of a stolen vehicle. If he said it was a stolen vehicle, why'd you buy it? He said when he got it, it was stolen, but he had it in his name. But he I had kept... the title on it. Yeah, but he, he had the title. Was stolen. So he said it was stolen at one time, but the owner of the car got the car back. OK. Is okay. what he said. OK, it's understandable. It's not about the point of it being stolen. It's the fact. The fact that he didn't see it had to be, it didn't yeah, have it reverse until I get ready to pull out after I give him the money. That's what I'm talking about. He didn't, you know what I'm saying? I, I, and you didn't test drive it? Did, no, I was getting ready to. It's kind of hard when it got reversed. He said, let it roll down the hill. And he kept saying, he said he's going to get it fixed because he, he can't tell me. I said, no, this is, it was in my name. You know? Okay, so the end result Go is ahead. what do you want to have? I want my money back. Well, and he can take that car and do whatever he's got to do with it. Okay. What's the date on this car? I didn't look at the day. It was issued April 29th of this year, so it's a new title. All right, here's the thing. Obviously, one, they've entered into some type of a contractual verbal agreement. There's not a lot that we can do about that. Exactly. However, what we can do is he's in violation of some BMB administrative things. One, there's no date of sale on this title. There's no selling price. And there's the odometer reading may or may not be correct based on the fact that it's been corrected. Right. So those are all citable offenses. Now, obviously, the way to that, that they're explaining this to me is that they were buying a car on his word and turns out that the car is not anywhere near what he said. You know, if he wants to give them their money back, everybody walks away happy. He, if not, then we'll start writing. Or, or we can start writing because what's fair is fair. And right. You know, I mean, he's just trying to take advantage is what it sounds like. Oh, yeah. You know, he had two very unsuspecting females that have little or no knowledge about motor vehicles and basically just tried to sell the limb and curbside. All right. Okay. We'll see what, uh, see how he takes it. Okay. He knew. Okay. He knew and he's going to fix it. Stand up here for a second. I'm going to explain something to you. <coughs> There's some problems on this. Some pretty big problems. Such as? Date of sale, selling price, trade-in price. You didn't put any of this stuff. You're in viol... Listen, let me finish, OK? You're in violation of all these things on this title. What do you mean? Basically, I can start writing you tickets for this. For <laughs> why? Because you don't just hand somebody this without putting the date of sale, the selling price on here. The agreement was that they, they would leave it open so that they could put down there so they didn't have to pay the taxes. You don't leave it open. That's your responsibility, and you've left it open. Okay? But so the, either, listen to me. Okay. Well, here, here, okay. here's, here's my, my deal to you. Either you take them the, and refund them the money, or I'm going to whip out the ticket book, and we're going to start writing tickets for this okay. stuff. Cool. So either refund the money, okay. or this thing, we're just going to oh, start writing. That's cool. I'll give them money back, but how do I fix my title? What you're going to have to do is go back to the bureau. Pay $15 for another For a new title. I need or to put sell it to yourself for a dollar. OK. What he's agreed to do, based on the fact that there's some problems, obviously, with the title, we're not you're not real happy with the overall outcome. He's going to refund the money, and if you would count that while we're here, so that there's no question once everybody uh, leaves the premises, there'll be no way to do okay, it. Okay, I'd like to say something myself. Sure. Eight, six, okay. It's all there. He knew all about. I this. know, but I okay. did. Okay, but he knew, and he gave I me. I did a, not. Know. Okay, but you guys go on. He knew all about this. He knew, and I just. With the title the way it is, they knew it was that way, so they could pay cheaper taxes on the, on the car. Now I know I cannot do that at all because I'm going to get a ticket. If yeah, I, exactly. I don't get my money back. So that's fine. Okay, all parties are happy. Thank you.
We got a man beating a woman out in the parking lot. It's gonna be right here on the corner. He's behind the alley. Who is? The guy he's beating up his wife. Beating up his wife? Yes. Okay. 251 control. I just got flagged down by a little girl said it's going to be behind the shortstop about a block and a half over, uh, supposedly. Got back here beating up his wife. Okay, 21 make it uh, 10th at Jefferson shortstop. It's the police. Well, the water black. You want to talk to me? Yeah. Come here. Okay. A guy in a hat hit you and do that to you? Huh? He's your husband? You need to get looked at? Huh? You got a pretty puffy eye there and your lips busted. You want anyone to come look at you? It was just a misunderstanding. Just a misunderstanding? That looks like a pretty bad misunderstanding for him to beat you up like that. Does he do this a lot to you? Does this happen a lot? Okay. Have you ever pressed charges against him before? Hmm? You afraid if you press charges against him? Hmm? You are? Think he'll do it again? Okay. I'll tell you what. Okay. You can't just keep letting him do this. All right. We can take him to jail now. No. Well, that's, he can't beat you up if he's in jail. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, we came over here this morning. I, I, I ain't beat up. Came over here this morning. Yeah, we just came over here this morning. He just walked in. They just come in a I never mean, trying to get up, man. get him a cab. Uh, uh, wanted me to call him a cab. Call him a cab. I'm trying to get yeah, home. Man. You know, he, she, she, he said she lost some money. That's what he told me. Uh huh. That she lost some out. money. That ain't crook. So I was trying to talk to my old lady right here. Would you please let me talk to one person at a time? This is my old lady right here. And uh, I tried to talk to him that she lost money before too, yeah. but I ain't jump on her about it, you know. Or yeah. nothing. I mean, cause what is money? You get some more money, you know. If me and her can't get along, well, we can't get along. One else will leave. Yeah. I'll get so my this is the first time. Get, yeah. This is the first time you saw him was right about five minutes ago, right? No, 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 no. The second time. time. Okay, the okay, okay, well, first time. The first time. Was first time I seen him. Today. Was her face all beat up? No. The first time. No, it wasn't that way. Talking good. No, they came away the other day, please, and they please. said they was getting an apartment over here, and he left uh, some stuff they was paying for the apartment here. D. And, uh, D. Then he said he was going to get it Monday no, because they couldn't get the apartment over here. What did I ask you to do? I'm talking to this gentleman right here. You need to be quiet. Okay. Okay, you do me a favor. You stay right here, okay? Yeah. For what? For domestic battery. He's going. Yeah. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Now we can do it where you put your own hands behind your back, or I can put your hands behind your back. Put your other one back here. Put your other one back. You know, it's it's not getting locked up, man. Huh? Well, look at her face. You don't. You wonder why you're getting locked up? Miss I for last night, man. Okay, let's go. I don't want him arrested. Have you got her information? Not yet. I'm going to take her downstairs and have the ambulance right. come look at her. I don't want him arrested. Come back here. Go ahead and take her. Stay back here. I told him I didn't want you arrested. Okay. Yeah, she told us she didn't yeah. want you arrested. You got to. Well, I'm going to jail. Mm -hmm. Look at her face and you tell me why you're going to jail. Hey, man, this last day we was out there on Midhoffer, man. We just came over this morning. All right, come on. Well, that was last night. This is this morning. Why don't you come on? Come, come on, on, miss. We're going to have to get some information from you. Watch your foot, Derek. Watch your foot. 
Round back here. Come here. Sit down right there. Yeah. Is your ID in her purse? Yeah. Okay. Everything. My bank book, my credit card. Sit down right there. Right there, the credit union and everything. Sit down right there. Okay. So, I can't say that. Okay. Cost. I got you. Come on, John. Have a seat inside. Watch your head. Uh. Tell me what happened. Well, uh, I was coming out of Kroger's and uh, he was hitting her in the face and uh, was gonna ram her face in the uh, dumpster. Was he hitting her with his fist or a, a stick? Or what was he hitting her with? His fist. Uh, was she trying to get away from him? No, she was sitting there. Really? She wasn't, was she crying or anything? No. No? Yeah. Were you the ones that called the police? Well, you know, that's good that you guys call. I wish more people like you would get involved and help us out, because I only have two eyes, but if you help me out, all of a sudden I got four eyes in, mm -hmm. and I'll see twice as much. So you guys keep calling us whenever you have a problem, and we'll try and come out as fast as we can and catch them, OK? Well, we got a vehicle we're following here that's got a broken windshield. It's missing its rear view mirror. It's got expired registration. And uh, we're just going to stop and check it out, see what we got here. John 211, can you copy a TV? Into the parking lot we go. BC radio 341 16. Appreciate it, thanks. 321, check the tag. Yes, sir. Good afternoon. Can I see your driver's license insurance, please? I don't have none, sir. It's not even my car. I'm just <laughs> cleaning it up. Just clean it up? Yes, sir. Okay, whose car is it? My wife. Your wife's car? Yes, sir. If, well, I, I'd like to have my lawyer present because I don't know what's going on, sir. Okay. I, that's why I'm asking. Okay, well, I need to get your last name, please, sir. My last name? Yes, sir. You don't have your driver's license, sir. No, I, I don't have, I don't have, I'm just cleaning the car, sir. Okay, I need your last name then. You're driving the car, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, what's your last name? Okay, my name is Jimmy Brown, okay. Jimmy Brown? Yes, sir. Well, the reason I stopped is because your tags are out. It's expired not in January. My car. It's not even my car, sir. So I understand that, sir, but you're operating it, correct? Yes, sir. You're driving it. Yes, sir. If you had an accident, who'd be responsible? I would. There you go. Okay, why don't you go ahead and step out of the car for me, sir? Sir, you can stay in the car if you would, please. Oh, excuse me. Passenger. Partner. Can you sit back in the car for me, please? you have any guns or knives on you, do, sir? No, sir. Can you turn around and put your hands on the car? I'm going to double-check you for weapons. Okay, I'm going to have you in the middle. There you got all kinds of stuff in your pocket. Keep your hands yeah. on the car, please, sir. Well, I got tickets and stuff. You got tickets and yeah, stuff? Yeah, but not mine, no. Keep, keep your hands on the pocket car, okay. please, sir. Can I ask this question, though? Yes. May I have my lawyer present before I'm... I'm being, oh, uh, uh, that's keep, my niece. Okay, keep your hands on the car, okay, please, sir. I, I, want, I want to ask you again, all right? Okay. Now, hold keep, on, hold now, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, sir. Now, hold on. Now, I, I just want to know if, I, if, if I'm, if, if my lawyer can be present if I'm going to be searched. That's all I'm asking, sir. No, sir, we don't, do we don't invite attorneys out into the field when we're searching prisoners, okay. all right? Okay. You're driving a motor vehicle without a license. Okay. Without insurance. Okay. Without a registration sticker okay. that's well, current. That's not my car, though, sir. I sir, you're operating do. the motor vehicle. Okay. You're responsible okay. for it. Well, I don't have, I, I shouldn't have, I don't have any warrants. Well, sir, you don't have any ID. How am I supposed to know that's you? Sir, you can dig out of my pocket if you want to. Well, why don't you go and put your hands on your back? Oh. John 211, one on the ground, one on the ground. We're northbound on Mississippi. No, sir. No, Get on the ground now. No, sir. I didn't Get on the ground. I didn't do anything. Get on the ground. Okay, okay. Get on the ground. Okay, sir. Get on the ground. Okay. Okay, sir. Get on the ground or the pepper spray. Okay. Down. What did I do wrong? Put your hands behind the back. Put your hands behind your back. Open your hands. I didn't do anything. Hands behind your back now. Okay, okay. 
Let's do your cuts. Out of 416, slow units down, we got him in custody. Give me your heavy keys there, dude. Okay. Let go of their hand. Okay. Let go! What else you got, nothing? I don't have any weapons, sir. You all right, John? Yeah. Yeah, I can wait. I can wait. As clear as pockets. Uh, no, no, put your legs out straight. I don't have any, any weapons, sir. I don't. Well, you got in your pockets? You're so upset about me, Chuck. Because sir. I had one, sir. In my girlfriend's car. We just called her to come get it. That's not on me. I don't no, have it. I'm on the other side. Okay. I don't have anything in my pockets, sir. Keep your leg out straight, dude. Put your leg out straight. I don't have anything. Check out my pocket. I don't have any. That's how my miscellaneous papers. See? I'm just gonna lay down, sir. Well, you're laying down. See, that's all I got is papers. Should I go to the fence and yeah. something? Well, he, he got intercepted. Cool. Well, I mean, that's no problem. Okay. All right, we're on your side. Okay. Then this check leg right here. Check the front of his trousers there. I don't have it. I'm just double checking for my safety. Okay, no problem. Okay. All right, get up. Donald, say. Can I get my, my stuff? I'll get it for you. Just walk with me over here. Why are you running? Because I didn't want to. Like my girlfriend's car, man. Is it stolen? Huh? Is it no, stolen it's car? not stolen. She let me go clean it up. We put them in your car. We have uh, yeah. equipment. <laughs> Go and spread your feet right here. No, I got you. Lean back to the car a little bit. Can you call my feet. girlfriend? Spread your feet. Any weapons I don't on have, you? No, sir, I don't have any weapons. I don't have any weapons, sir. You do understand you are under arrest, right? But I'm not going to run, sir. You can. I try. I did. I don't have any weapons, sir. You need drugs on you? No, I don't do drugs. Come up from here and start. Bennett. Can I ask one Put your foot sir? in there, dude. Get the car. Can you go check, no. check that car for me? Yeah. The no, right down. there? Yeah. Can I ask one favor, sir? Not right now. Actually, we're missing the passenger, aren't we? It's the dog. Okay, well. Crack pipe. Crack pipe. Okay. Got a crack pipe out of the car. That explains why he was so nervous. Man. What did your passenger look like? T-shirt and blue jeans, but that's about all I remember. He didn't do anything. I didn't have anything on him anyhow, so. Okay. I just pulled him out of the car because he didn't have a driver's license. He was lying about his name. <sighs> this is everything he had in his pockets. He had all that in his pockets. He had all that in his pockets. That's why when I was patting him down, man, I just kept reaching. There was more and more stuff, man. He had a knife. Is that how you called him? Well, yeah, I was patting him down. He took off, man. There's his wallet. There's his ID. He has an outstanding evading arrest warrant out Tarrant County. That they're confirming it right now. He's also, he also had this in the car, that crack pipe, smoking crack, and it's got some residue inside. All right, so he has an evading warrant. Evading warrant. Possession and evading. Evading today. OK, we're going on a radio call to assist another officer who is responding to a lady who's calling, saying there's a four-foot black snake in her bedroom. And there is a, uh, uh, a snake handler is en route to make the scene also to capture the snake. We're going to get there probably and try to contain it or something and wait for the handler to get there, make sure no one gets hurt. <clears throat> Hi. Where's the officer at? Oh. All right. We see it? I haven't looked under yet. I'll just pretty good. Okay. So it's a four foot black snake. I'm not much for snakes, man, so. All right. I think it's somewhere around it. Uh, you see right there. Right in there somewhere? Yeah. They got in from the back porch. How's it going? They got a snake in on there. Did you stay there at the door to make sure he didn't leave? Yeah. Okay. 
got a, uh, I don't know what kind of snake it is, but uh, he's contained right here. So let me just uh, move this so I can keep him on view. There he is right there. So let's kind of keep him right there so that the snake handler can come get him. It's, well, it looks like about four foot long, three foot maybe. It's kind of, it's kind of small in diameter, but it doesn't look like. Um, you want to come look at it? I mean, I don't care what kind of snake it is, really. As long as we keep him right there. I suppose as long as we know he's in this side of the closet, we'll be okay. Oh yeah. Not very often. Um, the snake handler's here? Yes, yeah, cool. Because he's shooting his way back to the uh, corner of the closet. I got him. I know exactly where he's at. In fact, I can still see part of him, but. I still see part of him. Yeah. He's, uh, he, he's gone back to the corner over here. This corner right back over here. Grab him. Yeah, go ahead. That's your job. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm not about grabbing a snake, so. You see his tail right there? Oh, okay. You got it. You got it? You need a lot? Thank you, flashlight in there. Where you at, darling? Hi, sweetie. He's He's right. Sweetie, Texas rat snake. Texas, oh, Texas rat snake. Yeah, yeah we're wrong. <laughs> oh, he ain't bad. Come on, darling. That's why you give him a little something to play with. Come on, sweetie. Okay. I think you're going to play easy. Can they bite? Or? Yeah, they can bite. Let's know if he bites you, all right? <laughs> that is a Texas rat snake. You can see the yellow band tune and the red in him. Red tongue. Very, very common snake. Harmless. Just enough to scare you. <laughs> Another hard day at work. Catch your mom, you can keep it as a pet. <laughs> no. uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> it says it's a rat snake, so you only need to go find some rats so that thing yeah, has to be. Ah, that's what happened. He's Tuck them away. Rat, huh? we <laughs> kill them all off. Release them later. later. It's supposed to be in girls' place. Oh, I know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> if you see any more, just give us a holler, but they are a harmless animal. And actually, they see There's you, in here. and they will run. They will leave. But being in the closet, he, that's what he did. He went to the corner he of the closet. He stayed there because he felt like he was he was calm and he wasn't going to be hurt. That's why I was able to just reach down there and pick him up. But he didn't feel threatened at all. He's in there. Yeah, he is. He's right there. You going to touch it? You can touch the bag. See? You see? You want to touch it, brave, are you? I'm not. Did you work for the city? No, we're... Uh, rehabilitators, and we just did all nonprofit. Okay, do it nonprofit. Non so you're not gonna charge the people at all for that. They want to give donations, then we take the donations and we turn around and we put it in with, you know, getting food, gas to get out to, picking up the snakes, and just old harmless snakes. And what are you gonna do with the snake now? Oh, I'll take him far away from here, and I'll turn around and release him back out in the field. Yeah. Because he is, he's a wild animal. What do you suppose that snake came in the house? Uh. Food, just warmth, get out of the shelter. Yeah, is that common? Being in the heat, it's real common, especially in the heat of the days. They can sneak in real small holes and stuff. Real small. Because people need to be cautious about uh, making sure their houses are insulated right. properly. And you can leave a door open, and if there's one around within two minutes, you don't even know it, he's in. Right. But it's real common. Okay. All right, we well, appreciate it. No problem. Yeah. You'll go back out in the wild. Y'all have a good evening now. All right, thank you. On your next one. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay. Frank 1151. Go ahead. 2700 Ben, I'll advise. Yeah, this is a... This is always nice when you get to deal with this.
What are you doing? Putting on a show or what? Get your drawers on. No what is going on here? Let me see ID. Turn your car off. Put your pants on there, Kelly. Get your pants on. Where are your pants at? That's the job. I guess I'm just going to have to lock you up tonight. You're causing too many problems out here. No. No. Yes. What do you need? I need you to put your pants on. We don't want to see all that. <laughs> this, one's, this one's expired. Get them on. Come on. Huh? You got any more? Okay. You got any other insurance? Because that one's expired, what you gave me. No, what I'm saying is that it's... it's... You're saying it's current, but you just don't have a good one with you? Yeah, I got a note here sending this. They haven't sent me any paperwork on it But I do have insurance. Are you wanted or anything? No. Is there anything illegal on this car? No. <clears throat> no? Let's step out here for me. What was she, what was she wanting? Um, Just tell me the truth. I know what she does. Tell me what was I going on. Run over. Huh? I wasn't gonna run over. So she just came and jumped on your hood. Yeah. Okay. I don't doubt that for some reason. You ain't got nothing on you, do you? Just turn around for me. Turn around. Because a lot of these girls trade for dope. Okay. So just relax. And you ain't got nothing on you, right? No. Okay. I was gonna say if you do, just tell me so we can just avoid it. What's in your pocket here? Money. Okay. All right, just step back here to the back. Nothing under the seats or anything, no guns, nothing like that? Do you know where you're at? Are you familiar with this area? You are familiar with it? So, you know why I'm asking that then? I'll, you can go ahead and get back in your car. I'm gonna check this guy, <laughs> see if he's wanted for anything, so he can get out of here and, uh, He said that uh, she just, he came down through here and she just jumped up on his hood and uh, started doing what we drove up on. East of Shawnee Henry, it's clear for signal one. 5300, Parker Henderson. Uh, somehow, I can believe that. She's uh, trying to get dressed over there, it looks like, and uh, this is just about a, Daily occurrence around here it's not, doesn't surprise me. <sighs> Where are the shorts that you had earlier? No comprende. No comprende, huh? So now you're Hispanic? Um, oh, no, I'd go I'm ahead not. and get out of here. I love everybody. Just go ahead and back know? up. Now, let me tell you something. You're getting a ticket for disorderly conduct, okay? You can't be out here in the street <laughs> showing off your privates like that, jumping up on people's car hoods. Oh, but I can't. Huh? But I can't. But you can? No, you can't. Oh, can. yeah. That would be like against the law, so we can't have that. This is the third time I've talked to you tonight. I don't believe that it's against the law, though. Oh, it is. Trust me, it is. When you don't have your pants on, no underwear on, up on a car hood, showing yourself to everybody, that'd be against the law. Okay, go ahead. Oh, I will. I just want you to understand. Do you understand that? Yeah. Am I gonna see you anymore tonight? <laughs> I hope so. I hope not. Oh, really? You know why? Because the next time, you're, you're costing me too much time out here. See, I'm being tied up for you. <laughs> three times already tonight. So I'm just gonna end it next time and take you to jail. <laughs> take it like a man. Take it like a man, that's right. Okay, here you go. I need your signature down here by the X. That's, oh man, that's Omar. Not, that's, that's not a it's not a plea of guilt. It's your promise to contact the court within 11 days, all right? Excellent.
Adios. I mean it. I don't want to see you again. The uh, female was issued a citation for disorderly conduct, exposing the genitals in public, and uh, that's pretty much it.